Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1095. Oh my goodness, this looks so complex. <laughs> I just want to take headache medicine right away. Thankfully I have 50 moves to try to clear out 19 jelly and reach 38,000 points. I can see that I've got a conveyor belt. So what I know right away about this chocolate is it can't grow beyond its boundaries. Once I get things open and take things out, it can repopulate this area, but it cannot uh, go on to an area that is moving. So it's going to get stuck here by this conveyor belt. But I also have to take out all of these licorice cages and these cake bombs. And I see that I've got ticking time bombs set to come attack me once I do that. So I can tell this is going to be a bit tricky. Um, the cake bombs should help, but I've got uh, jelly under there. I have to get rid of them. And these are kind of isolated areas. Same with this popcorn. I've got some jelly under there I need to remove. So as much as I can open up as quickly as I can, the better I'll be. Now I've got ticking time bombs. I've set up 15. That's not awful. Um, and this is actually being a little bit lucky for me. That shuffle kind of gave me uh, an edge there. And now I can make a special here. So I'm just going to continue with this track of trying to create as much chaos on this board as I can, as quickly as I can. Uh, open up this popcorn, take out these ticking time bombs um, efficiently. Now, like I said, this chocolate will continue to grow. If I can remove it while it's kind of in its infancy here and not spreading, that would be best. Can't do it, so I'm just going to make a move that will hopefully make some cascading and possibly take some out. Well, it still didn't work, but now I get to make a special. I love the specials that are lined up to strike that popcorn because, of course, even though the popcorn is a bit annoying now, uh, it will give us some cake, some um, color bombs. And notice that all of the chocolate is now removed. Uh, this is my first playthrough, as is evidenced by the fact I'm collecting sugar drops. So it's my first playthrough for uh, recording. Uh, and so I think I've just gotten a little bit of a lucky board. Let's see if we can maintain that luck. Now I see an opportunity potentially to make a color bomb. And since this isn't on a conveyor belt and it's not going anywhere, I'm going to invest some time. I like the color bomb better than I like the wrapped candy. Okay, so let's see. Do I push it here or up here? I actually like this move best. Because now I have the opportunity to strike that popcorn again. Maybe. Oh, stop it. Don't do evil things like that. Well, I did get some luck before, so. And now I'm going to wait till this ticks up, hopefully, to use it against the cake bombs and the, uh, yeah, whatever that is, the ticking time bombs. I was holding this off to use against maybe red or whatever was uh, about to explode me. Okay, so we're getting close. Maybe I can get an orange to settle in here to make a striped candy. Not quite. We always have to be watching for those opportunities, though. Ooh, if I could get these two to connect, that might be a huge advantage. Now, I can make a wrapped candy here, but I'm going to go striped that's pointed toward that popcorn. And I'm still looking for this opportunity. Ooh, I like having orange on either side. There we go. Okay, so now I have a purple here and a purple here. I've got a, a lot of purple around the area. I think it's going to be sufficient to help me really open some things up. Okay, and now I have another opportunity potentially to make a color bomb. So if I do this, the conveyor belt should take that through. Now I would love to pair this with a striped candy if I'm able. That's going to be a little difficult when the color bombs are all the way off to this side. Here, it is um, a bit tricky. It's hard to match them up, but really this whole board is so entirely isolated. Although I'm seeing an opportunity now to get that to work. 
and this is going to tick over, but this is going to tick over. Let's see. Now if I remove all red, not only does it concentrate the colors, it's also brought these in, into alignment. And I've got a little bit of purple um, headed this way and headed this way. So I think this just might help me clear out whatever else I need to clear out. There we go. I have to say, even though this is my first playthrough, I do believe I've been um, using my luck well, but I also think that luck has played a part in this. I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll play 10 times through and I'll be able to tell you definitively, oh no, you need a lucky board to get this one. I think you need a little bit of luck here too, and I just got lucky the first time round. So what I would recommend is once you become familiar with the mechanics of it, seeing how uh, things happened here for me, let's see if I can get an orange down there, nope. Seeing how things happened here for me, but realizing that um, I'm admitting there was a bit of luck to it, you'll see the mechanics, you'll know what to go for, uh, and then you'll bring in some specials to help you achieve your goal. Now, I'm still not out of the woods yet, but I'm making these specials to try to help me. See if I can push this down closer. Can't get that blue detonated. So now I've got a special near here. If I can match this with another orange, or if I can use a ranged attack and strike it some way, or if I can activate it with a color bomb, then I um, will be successful. Oh, and look at that. Yeah. So that's how I'm going to beat this level, level 1095. Don't forget, if you're still struggling, bring in your boosters. Booster up, baby. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.